morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to our channel. War is imminent after a Barakba killings. Ghani Adams, the area on Okakan 4th Yoruba land. After armed terrorists now occupy Kishi or your national park. The area on Akakan 4th Yoruba land, Eba Ghani Adams on Sunday declared in clear terms that with the killing of over 50 people in a Gongota Ebarakba, Okeogu area of Oyo State, it is evident that war is imminent in the country. Ghani Adams, while condemning the gruesome murder of innocent citizens of the town, warned Flani his men and bandits to stay away from the southwest or be ready to face stiff resistance. Always the same, all the time. Full and his men and their bandits. They are killing 50 wholesome human beings in a barakba. The killings in the early hours of Sunday brought the entire Igongo town and its environs to its knees with over 50 people, cars bombed, and over 20 houses raised. Speaking shortly after the news of the killings and destruction filtered in with gory videos of the massacre, Eba Adams said the North had waged war against the Southwest and had also unleashed terror on the region, stressing the need for the Southwest region to rise and defend themselves without looking back. No, they should wait for the Nigerian army to defend them and the terrorist police and army of the Fulanese. In a situation like this, he said, you rise and defend yourself. Where are the police when the bandits started killing our people in Egongo today? Even the palace of Asigongo of Egongo land, Obadewi Olawe, was not spared, and the monarch, according to reports, had been whisked away by the bandits. All right, the king is also gone. Three days ago, the Director General of Oyo State Southwest Security Network, Amoteku, General Kunle Togo, retired, raised the alarm that his men had invaded the Southwest. I corroborated his statements and called for urgent surveillance across the Southwest. Now, with the recent onslaught on a gang of people, it is evident that the Fulani his men are on a predetermined mission to kill, maim, and decimate the Southwest. This is one killing too many. I will not fold my arms, seeing the blood of innocent people being shed like it is in a gongo. Lamenting the failure of the federal government to rise to the security challenges, Adam said now that the North had declared war on the Southwest, we will never sign, be silent or compromise on the homicide going on in the Southwest. I want to change, to charge all the governors in the Southwest, as well as the traditional rulers, to rise to the occasion. The Yoruba Generalismo, however, warned criminal headers to stay away from the region, as the Southwest can no longer accommodate killers. OPC and other local security operatives will continue to ensure that the region is safe for residents. Those kids in Egongo town have their families and friends. There is blood flowing in their veins, and in a moment, their lives were cut short by killer hitmen and bandits in their homes. Adams admitted that information at his disposal indicates that bandits and killer hitmen have invaded the Southwest, thus pushing the security outfits to the wall. He, however, urged all the governors to beef up the security of their respective states in order to provide adequate security for the people of the region. Okay, the same story, southwest, southeast, middle belt, far north, all over the places. Killing upon killing upon killing, maiming upon maiming upon maiming. Invasion, displacement of people, decimation of people, destruction of crops. This has become the stalking threat for these Fulani S men. It's happening all over Nigeria. 
no place is safe. And you know the worst thing? Nobody gets arrested. Nobody gets tried. Nobody gets jailed. Nobody is sentenced. What an irony. But in the Southeast, all the soldiers and police of Nigeria are parading, shooting, killing people, arresting people, detaining people, while the terrorists and the headsmen are having a sway. They move around with take for seven rifles without anybody questioning them. What a country. What a country. Miss us in the comment section, please say what you think about the story, what Ghanaians have said, and what is happening in Yoruba land, what has happened in Egongo. We invite you to subscribe to our channel. Kindly also press on the notification bell so that anytime we bring any news, it will come directly to you. You will not need to search for it. Give us a thumbs up if you like the story we have brought for you. Thank you for coming to our channel. Remain blessed.